Hi folks, good day from Ireland, Johnson Powers my name. One of the guys there in the Beaver Builder group on Facebook was wondering about how to display reviews on a certain part of his website. He's using the Beaver Builder plugin, Beaver Teamer add-on. He's created a custom post type called Reviews in Pods and we'll be using the pods a uh, beaver theme or add-on as well to accomplish all of this so what i've done is down the pods edit pods we have a pod called reviews and i haven't actually added any fields to it there's no need because when we go over to when we go over to our reviews we're using the native uh, WordPress fields, we're using the title here, and we're using the content here, and we're using the date over here from the post to uh, to display everything. So we don't need any extra fields. But you might say then, why did we create the pod in the first place? Well, one good reason to do that would be, since it's reviews we're dealing with in a previous video, it's on my YouTube channel under WP Photographer that with Gravity Forms, we had a form on the front end of the website for submitting data into a pod. So this would be a great example of using that. We could have our clients, our customers uh, submitting reviews into our pod and we can set them to display uh, instantly automatically on the website or we can set it to uh, it has to be moderated approved you know so that's one good solution we could do there so i'm going to create a theme part to display the reviews in a post carousel is what we're going to do here so we want to go into our builder theme layouts Add new, we'll call it review carousel team layout part. And we set the position on the page here. So I'm going to just put it there after the header. You know, sometimes I suppose you'd have reviews after the header, wouldn't you? Or af uh, under the content either. But anyway, so uh, we can set our team part now to display under the header on the entire site all, all singular posts. Uh, set it to a specific uh, post. You can really be very specific here, which is very good. So I said I was going to put it on the home page. So select page and I have a page named review carousel for this demonstration and that's set to the front page on the website at the moment. So we want to launch our page builder now. We don't need that and we'll just go over to advanced modules, post carousel, bring it in. And now we need to set up a couple of things uh, under content. We want to go down to posts and reviews is there. So we'll just save that. And there's the reviews that I have. So we can do a bit of styling and stuff now. The width is fixed and everything that, what did I see there now earlier? Oh, sorry, I'm in the, I'm in row settings, cancel. Should be in carousel, post carousel, auto play, do, 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 do. We want to loop it to get the slide. There we can transition speed, number of posts, show dots, show arrows, the layout, max post with post space and equal heights image show crop post info yeah i don't want the author because it's going to be it's going to be a customer that submitted the review obviously so there we have it now we have the person and the date and we want to content 
will show the content. There was one little glitch that needs a work around that if the review is very long it'll end up with a read more link actually going to it but if you see the likes of mary murphy here it's quite short and there's no read more so we can't i didn't actually see anywhere that i can actually set the extend i mean the the length of the excerpt here that we don't get the read more i've seen that in other plugins like on genesis that you can set it so I presume it must be in the functions PHP file. I'm not sure one of the lads there on Facebook will actually be able to clarify that for us. So what we want to do now is we can go into our styling and everything. I actually want to, I wanted to actually change change the the max possible. So I want to change the width there to six hundred. Like that. So We've only two of them now, so it looks it looks a lot better. And then, say if I just wanted one, I'll just save that and just go up to add content, row layouts, and just bring in an extra column there. And that worked earlier now, it's something. I've done something, oh no, there it is now, yeah. So we we have it there working now that there's just one. So you can play around with that yourself. But the concept is there that it's working now. So we have all of that. I want to go back. All my pages. Do you remember in the location? I have front page review carousel to set to only appear under the header on the front page. And it's there now so when i go to my other pages that's that's the original home page that i had before i did this uh, and our review carousel isn't on any of those other pages because the location as i said is only set to the front page so that's it folks hope you enjoyed that and everything thanks very much bye for now